What's up, everybody? My name's Thomas, and it is doggy bath time. Now, uh, for most people, this is either a moment of despair or a fun-filled moment with your dog. With mine, my dogs will look absolutely despondent. Um, it's like they're being frog-marched to an agonizing, slow death. So uh, keep that in mind as you watch the video. They will look very, very sad. Um, but I want to walk you through the basic steps of giving a dog a proper bath, how to do it the right way. And keep in mind, I have Dobermans. So I wouldn't say that they have, uh, you know, very special needs when they're getting bathed. But um, there are a few different things that are done with Dobermans than other dogs, which is pretty much par for the course with any purebred uh, dog or short-haired dogs, especially Dobermans because they have sensitive skin. So I will do things a little bit differently, but I'll try to call out each and every one of those as we go through the process so you know if you have a different dog then you can do it a different way and some of the things i use uh, you may not have to um, like coconut oil i use on my dogs but not everybody needs that again my dogs tend to have sensitive skin which is a common trait in dobermans but not everybody's going to need that so uh with that being said let's dive in Now, as far as prep is concerned, I'm sure everybody has their own methodology or what have you, but I like to have everything in place before I get started. You know, my dogs don't resist bathing, but they're not exactly having a fantastic time when we do it. So it's easier to just have everything on hand. Before we get started, I like to brush my dogs down real good. Um, that short hair doesn't really get tangled, but it's still good to kind of help disperse their natural oils on their coat. Um, I will also use coconut oil on my dogs. Like I said earlier, that's not something everybody has to do, but it, we do it because they have sensitive skin and it helps them. And it's getting to be that time of the year in a hot summer when they tend to be the itchiest and uh, for no real reason. They don't have fleas, ticks, or anything of that nature. They just get itchy. And uh, this stuff helps with it. We also use a Jackson Daisy shampoo. Everybody's different. Again, this is not a recommended shampoo for you. It just works for us. You can use whatever works best for your animal. Um, for Dobermans, again, they're short, they're short-haired dogs, and they have sensitive skin, so I like to dry them off, kind of at a squeegee method, which I'll show you. And I use microfiber cloth to do that. They don't necessarily need to be 110% dry when you're done. Um, just dry enough so they're not dripping everywhere. And when they do their happy little circles, they're not flinging water all over the place. All right, I like to start things off with a good brush down. I use um, a two-sided brush. This one here has soft ends, not the pointy sharp ends that you've probably seen somewhere. And you just go with the coat. Dogs tend to like it. And I use both sides to go with the coat. And this helps disperse the oils on their body correctly. And uh, even though he looks absolutely depressed, like I said he would, they tend to enjoy this part. Good boy, Aries. Good boy. Good boy. And I simply switch it up. And I don't know if you can hear it, but Athena's whining in the background because she knows she's next. I won't run you through the whole thing, but it's important to give your dog a good brush down before you get them in the water. And no matter what the look on their faces is, because they know what's coming next, they do enjoy the brushing. As far as setting up your bath area, we personally like to bathe our Dobermans outside. We have two bathrooms, but they're both a little bit small for this and cramped. And I'm getting up, I'm getting a little older now. So bending over the bathtub is really, you know, it messes with my back quite a bit. So we like to do it outside. Again, that's not universally necessary for everybody. It's just our preference. We bring them out here to a small pool and it's got a little anchor point in there where we can uh, take their leash and latch them in place. So. Neither dog will probably run off or try to run off because they're so depressed whenever they get a bath, so they're likely to just sit there. But for some people, you may need to, you know, uh, leash them down to an anchor point or something to keep them from running away from you when you go to grab the uh, water hose or the shower head. Now, as far as water, you want to make sure it's, it's you know, um, room temperature. You don't want it freezing cold. You don't want it screaming hot. 
Um, we use, uh, you know, obviously the water hose and uh, the, the head that I have on it is adjustable. You can make changes with Dobermans or with other small haired dogs um, or short haired dogs. I recommend keeping it at a very, very, very low pressure. In fact, you'll see while I'm using it, it's just basically falling out of the faucet rather than jettisoning, jettisoning out of the faucet. So, um, again, that's kind of dog specific, not necessarily specific to Dobermans, but a lot of dogs, you, you really don't need to, uh, pressure wash them when you're bathing them. I mean, that's, the soap's going to come off. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about really getting in there and, uh, show you some other little neat tips and tricks, especially for short haired dogs that you can use as well. Boy, you're right. Good boy. The boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Yeah, out of there. All right, we're all done. We'll go through this again. Brushing them down real good. No need to uh get crazy with it or anything. Just uh brush them down real good. Flip sides on this brush. I like it because it makes their fur seem a lot more sleek and smooth. Like he got into a little rough patch there with Athena. She's not the kindest dog to him. That's why Aries is the baby of the family. I give him a good brush down when you're all done, and then he'll go run and jump in circles. Typical doggy behavior. See, typical boy. Now, as far as the uh, post bath, also you want to make sure you clean your dog's ears. We have to take our dogs to a vet to get it done because it is absolutely a nightmare trying to clean our dog's ears. They're very, very sensitive to it. If you use Q-tips, just be sure not to go down into their ear canal. It's just as dangerous for them as it is to us as far as puncturing their eardrums. Um, just use a gauze, some gauze um, Q-tip along the outside areas. And, you know, obviously use uh, an approved dog ear drop. Put the eardrops in their ear canal and use the gauze to just kind of massage the bottom of their ear and let that drain back out. If they got any kind of yeast or anything else going on in there, it would gener generally drain back out. And if your dogs are like our dogs, don't hesitate to take them to the vet and uh, get it done over there. That's it. They're all the, that's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, just make sure you have all your supplies together before you get started. It's easier that way. Everything's at hand. Um, depending on the type of dog you have, short hair, long hair, you may have to bathe them a little bit differently. You know, when we bathe, we 
rub our fingertips down the uh, the direction of their fur and not against it. That's just Doberman specific. Um, and of course, there are other little things like the coconut oil that we use with ours that not everybody will have to use. So, but for the most part, that's the general step-by-step -step process of bathing a dog, and that's the steps you should follow with your own dog. Make sure you comfort them. Make sure you give them plenty of treats afterwards. Um, that will make bath time a little more exciting to them because they know what's coming after. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and also comment down at the bottom. Um, I always try to jump on here and answer comments, questions, and concerns you may have. If you've got some uh, interesting tips and tricks for bathing your dog, please share it. Um, like I said, I jump on there as much as I can and uh, look over everything, read everybody's comments, and respond accordingly. And the like and subscriptions obviously help our channel continue to grow, and we really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a fantastic day.